So I think what's super interesting here is, I mean, being at Realize Live, of course, a fairly um, PLM dominated space, right? So when we look at product lifecycle management and how integrated and automated and managed the engineering workflows are today when we design a product and we manage requirements and we simulate the product and we plan production and we plan build materials and build processes and whatever. I think it's a fairly stringent linear process that's very well managed um, and can can now be automated more and more which is like interesting to me because I feel like in the OT world where we have PLC code and HMI projects and now we bring AI applications to that or industrial edge applications to that the workflows aren't necessarily as as stringent and it's still like often a little bit all over the place I mean I started as an automation engineer myself and I remember the days and or it's not even about remembering because I think it's still the case today where we work with our we have TIA portal projects as, as Siemens right so we have engineering projects for PLC code and, and, and HMI projects and hardware config and these uh, projects are often saved on some engineers local computer and so then you have to figure out okay who is it that has the latest project so we don't necessarily always have version control or collaborative engineering or like a common data backbone where we manage all of these artifacts and nor do we necessarily have like integrated engineering workflows. So I'm always excited about bringing the concepts of PLM to automation lifecycle management and introducing like a similar kind of build, test, deploy, automated workflow in the automation space. And I think it's, I mean, it's exciting that it's coming and that we're working towards that. And I think it's cool to see how these worlds converge.